Welcome to Health Bulletin. Have you ever wondered why bats are hosts to numerous diseases? Interestingly, bats possess a unique immune system that allows them to carry viruses harmful to humans and other mammals without falling ill. This resilience may be an unintended consequence of their evolutionary development of flight. Flight necessitated high metabolic rates in bats and the ability to sustain body temperatures as high as 41 degrees Celsius. These conditions could potentially damage DNA, but bats have adapted by developing robust DNA repair mechanisms alongside their flight capabilities. As a result, their immune system is particularly adept at identifying viruses, more so than in humans. Now, let's delve into the diseases associated with bats. Before we move forward, if you're finding this content helpful and informative, please consider hitting the subscribe button below and stay updated with all latest health alerts. Let's proceed with today's topic. You'll be surprised to learn that bats serve as long-term hosts for many diseases, such as Ebola, Marburg virus, rabies, and potentially even coronavirus. This is why scientists worldwide are diligently working to better understand how these diseases spill over to humans and other wildlife. But why focus on bats specifically? Well, consider this. Bats are the second most diverse mammals on Earth, right after rodents, comprising 22% of all mammal species. Interestingly, there are approximately 17 diseases yet to be discovered in every bat species, compared to about 10 for rodent and primate species combined. And here's another fascinating fact. The longest lived bat on record lived to be at least 41 years old. The rate of zoonotic disease emergence from wildlife is increasing, with bats being identified as the source of many incurable viral diseases in humans. These diseases often have high case fatality rates. Researchers are focusing on understanding the transmission of zoonotic viruses from bats in Africa to enhance the protection of both bats and human populations. They are studying the ecology of viral pathogens, including both known and potential zoonotic risks in fruit bats in West Africa, as well as human interactions with these bats. The research on Bats and Bugs project focuses on Lagos bat virus, which is a type of rabies virus. This includes studying phyloviruses, such as Ebola and Marburg viruses, and paramyxoviruses, including viruses. Scientists are investigating how pathogens affect bats and the conditions that might trigger their transmission to humans including the role of environmental changes caused by human activities. Researching viruses in wild bats is challenging, especially in species with vast populations or those that cover wide territories. However, researchers have achieved a significant breakthrough. They've been managing a captive breeding colony of the straw-colored fruit bat, Eidolon helvum, in Ghana since 2010, placing them in a unique position for their studies. This breakthrough allows for detailed studies on virus infection in a specific bat colony, including each bat's infection history. Recent research has uncovered a surprisingly high rate of various paramyxoviruses, such as henipaviruses, within the captive colony in Ghana. This finding is particularly unexpected because existing studies on paramyxoviruses in other species indicate that large populations are typically required for the virus to sustain itself. These findings also suggest that the persistence of paramyxoviruses within individual bats is key to understanding their role as reservoirs for these viruses. To uncover potential seasonal trends in virus or viral RNA shedding, scientists collected under-roost urine samples weekly for a year. This study revealed that virus shedding peaked twice annually, with the highest peaks in July and another in January. Interestingly, Various paramyxoviruses demonstrated unique shedding patterns. No link was found between virus shedding peaks and factors like the birthing season, environmental temperature, or humidity. Throughout the year-long sample collection, the bats showed no signs of illness, suggesting the viruses they carry don't cause disease in their natural hosts. With the identification of multiple paramyxoviruses in the E. helvum captive colony, researchers can now refine lab tests to enhance detection sensitivity for future analyses. The research is also delving into the presence of coronaviruses in Guinean bats, 
and how agricultural expansion and intensification might contribute to the zoonotic transmission of various viruses hosted by bats. Why is it crucial to study diseases in bats? Bats play a pivotal role in ecosystem health. For instance, fruit bats are vital for pollinating fruit trees like mangoes and assisting in seed dispersal. While the impact of fruit bat diseases has been explored in regions like Asia and Australia, but their effects in Africa are not as well documented. In several African countries, bats are commonly hunted for consumption. The risk of zoonotic disease transmission grows as we continue to encroach on natural habitats. By understanding the ecology of pathogens within their natural hosts and the factors driving zoonotic spillover, scientists aim to prevent the emergence of diseases in humans while also protecting bat populations. Preventing zoonotic diseases becomes increasingly important as human and bat interactions intensify, particularly as fruit bats begin to inhabit urban areas due to the loss of their natural environments. This situation presents unique challenges in sustainably and humanely managing these populations. Research into bat diseases is enhancing our understanding of pathogen ecology in fruit bat populations. This includes insights into how various pathogens maintain themselves within host populations, their effects on these hosts, and their modes and timings of transmission. A key question also being explored is the degree of connectivity between different bat populations. To do this, scientists using techniques such as radio telemetry and population genetics. These tell us if bats move between different colonies, and if so, how frequently this occurs. For the species of fruit bat, that undergo annual migration, they even can detect if the same bats come back to the same place every year. They also test African fruit bats for any disease. As soon they capture bats and take small blood samples to look for antibodies for antibodies that may indicate any prior exposure to infection. They also test urine and tissues using molecular genetic techniques to identify the types of pathogens they are carrying. Moreover, Scientists are studying the interactions between bats and humans to find out the risk factors for the spillover of infection from bats to people. This understanding helps in taking further preventative measures to protect public health while also safeguarding the bats from persecution. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel for the latest in medical breakthroughs and health alerts.